Today we're cooking with one of my favorite spring vegetables, fresh peas. And we're gonna make a delicious soup from the peas. We're gonna start with a little bit of butter in the pan and add some onions, cook those gently with a couple slices of bacon, not to brown, but just to get a little bit of smoky flavor. And then we're gonna add in the peas and some salt, cover it for a little bit till they're tender, add some boiling hot broth, bring to a simmer, add a handful of mint, and then puree it. It's gonna be really simple and delicious. So we've got some butter warming up here in the pan, nice and bubbly, not too hot. And we're gonna add just some regular chopped yellow onion, about two cups. As well as a couple of pieces of bacon whole. And we're leaving these whole because we're gonna fish them out later and it'll be a lot easier to take them out. We just want the flavoring, not the bacon itself. Or we're gonna get a little salt, about a teaspoon or so, and just a tiny pinch of dried thyme. I like the flavor of dried thyme in soup better than fresh thyme, but just a very, very small amount. And we're gonna cook these really slowly, just until the onions are tender, start to become translucent, taking care not to brown them at all. So the onions are tender without browning, and now we're going to add in the peas. We eat this is about four cups. A tiny pinch of sugar and a little bit more salt. We have this on really low heat. We're gonna cover it, check it every two or three minutes, and cook it until the peas are good and tender. Now we're gonna add some simmering chicken broth. We're almost ready to puree our soup, and before we do, we're gonna throw in a handful of fresh mint leaves. I like to use the smaller, less mature mint leaves. I think they have a cleaner, brighter taste. Just pick those off. Of course, this has been scrupulously washed. And you want about a third of a cup, just a nice small handful. It's gonna give a really bright, clean taste to this delicious soup. So we have these tender leaves, no stems, of the soup, and we just stir them in and we're ready to puree. Before we puree the soup, we're gonna fish out the bacon slices. They've given us this delicious, light, smoky flavor to our soup. For pureeing the soup, we're gonna use an old-fashioned blender, and there are a couple of things you need to know to be really careful about this so you don't get hurt. One is to be sure and take the center out of the lid. This is really, really, really important. The other is not to fill the blender more than half full. Put a clean kitchen towel here and then a thicker, terry cloth towel on top and make sure you really hold down a good grip on this so it doesn't, the lid doesn't come off. And it's a good idea if you can at first to just pulse on low. Now I like a smooth soup, so I puree this for several seconds, probably 30, 45 seconds. So we're gonna transfer the pureed soup back to the pot, go back over to the stove, bring it to a simmer, and taste carefully for seasoning. Some peas are very tender and sweet all on their own. Some are a little starchier and less sweet. These are very tender and sweet, so I don't need to add any more sugar to this to bring up the natural flavor. Just a little pepper. And they're not starchy at all. But if they were, a little splash of some heavy cream or a tablespoon or so of butter whisked in would help smooth it out. Hope you enjoy this delicious spring treat.